a little foreknowledge, plus about dollars us 50, and my daughter would have lived to see 13. The amount keeps me awake. Many of us spend more each month at Starbucks. Not pocket change, it's not enough to change your life. Or so I thought. Like every parent, it received a dumpster full of child rearing warnings. The warnings started with pregnancy. They continued to the present day. Why then is my daughter not in her room texting friends, but in the cemetery? It was the warning never given. To begin near the end, one morning last May while I was showering, my wife burst into the bathroom. Our daughter, then 12, will wake up. I ran downstairs, naked and dripping, and found her on the floor, unresponsive. I pulled her into the middle of the floor, began pounding on her chest. Our other daughter dialed 911. The emergency medical technicians pulled me, still dripping, still naked, off her and rushed her to the hospital. The emergency room doctor, a softly spoken woman who looked half my age, put her hand on my shoulder. My brilliant, bubbly daughter showed no brain function. Ever full of life, she was said. My wife and I pieced together the course of events from the autopsy report. A day earlier, about 5 p.m., our daughter swallowed a palm full of my prescription antidepressants, more than 10 times my daily dosage. Get the latest news and updates emailed straight to your inbox. By submitting your email you are agreeing to Fairfax Media's terms and conditions and privacy policy. Right afterwards, she vomited. That evening, she told her friends and us about vomiting. Like any parent, we took her temperature, normal, got her some fluids, ginger ale, and put her to bed early. She never told us about the pills. Critically, this particular drug is time release. Once capsules rupture, the medication cannot be purged. Vomiting does nothing to rid the body of the poison, a fact to which we are sure she was ignorant, since we were. The same pharmaceutical magic that allows for steady time release holds the black dog of my depression at bay. Tiny particles of slow dissolving medication designed to pass with ease and rapidity into the intestines, makes them up her jubble. Irony, meet tragedy. Our daughter plainly expected to wake up in the morning. Last texts with friends speak about weekend plans. She wrote with youthful excitement about an upcoming trip. My wife tucked her in.